Alright guys, what's going on? Game with Captain Gravy here. Today I'm going to be bringing you a short and easy to follow guide for the San Joaquin Delta. Now this place is pretty much an amazing, this is one of my favorite places for like amazing fish fights because of the big species they have here. Let's just take a look. We got, nope, not bluegill. Chinooks. We've got common carp. They can get pretty big also. Largemouth bass only reach common. Common carps, like I said, can be pretty big. But if you get the uniques, those can be close to 80 pounds. Steelheads as well. Big fish, big fight. Same with the striped bass and big sturgeon as well. So what we're going to be focusing on today is the main money and experience farms, which is Chinooks. Um, we also got, like I said, Steelhead and Striped Bass. Common Carp are easy to get also, or easier, but they're more of an experience more than anything. But we're just going to focus on those three predator fish today. So we're going to start at below the Creighton, or Crichton Dam, and I'm just going to show you what I would normally use. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be going after steelhead and chinook salmon. So I recommend nothing less than 20 pounds if you want a decent fight, but you want to bring it in as well. And you'll use the three foot crankbait, that's what I found works best. It says you won't be able to cast it very far, let's just head over there, but that is fine. It'll get plenty far, all we need to do is just... There are two places you can go. Uh, one is you cast straight out in this direction over these rocks sometimes. Over the rocks or out in this direction. Or you bring it in close like this. Cast towards that far corner right there. So I'm just going to throw it out there. I'll come over to the side like this. Like I said, it's plenty far with this setup. Now if you're using a really really heavy rod that might be a different story but for this rod at least it's perfectly fine. And I might not catch every- oh, already spoke too soon. Fish on the line. Let's see what this is. I'm gonna guess this is a steelhead by the looks of it. Yep indeed is a steelhead. Now they can get beached like this it's kind of annoying. As long as you keep them in the water, they should be okay. So steelhead are actually fairly active compared to the Chinook salmon. They are very, very frequent in comparison. So expect to get a lot more steelhead than Chinooks. But anyway, they both hang out here. Or you could cast out, like I said, over here. But I personally prefer this corner. So this is where steelheads and Chinooks hang out. Just keep at it, and you'll have quite a bit of experience and money in no time. So, I'm going to now move on to the striped bass. Striped bass are fairly easy to catch also. In this whole video, the only lures I'm going to be using are the crankbaits. So, you can try them out for yourself, but I think that crankbaits, in my opinion, work the best here. They just seem to, they're super easy to retrieve. Stop every now and then if you so desire. Sometimes this lake can be, or this delta, can be really slow. Other times you can just get fast action. It's hit or miss. Generally speaking, if you're in the peak, you'll be perfectly fine. Anyway, so these three spots out there, it'll probably get stuck on the rocks. But just straight out this direction in this general arc and straight into that corner right there. You could even just, just basically this whole area right along here, along with this area shallow and like right here, steelheads and chinooks will hang out. So now, what we're going to do, switch over to the six foot crankbait and head out to the foggy sanctuary. And I like to head over to this one right here. And we're just going to cast straight out like this. Now 
I typically use 12 to 6 foot crankbaits. 12 skims the bottom in some places, but when you, it's far out there it won't, but once you start getting closer in it will. So I just use 6 foot right here. It penetrates the deeper areas pretty much. And striped bass, they seem to go after it. There's just something missed there. Only a striper. Occasionally steelheads will come out of this also. But this is mainly the striped bass zone. I think this is just part one of this guide. I think I'll bring out the other species as well. Maybe show you how to catch the, definitely the common carp, because those are another big one. And if I can, the sturgeon. Sturgeon are just kind of a hit or miss. They're pretty difficult to get. I've only caught one here, but that's, I only know of one spot too that works. I'll put that in there. It just, it's that one spot. Sturgeon are kind of all over the place. Kind of wait a while, but once you get one on, oh boy, you are in for one heck of a fight. So I'm just going to retrieve this crankbait. No, nothing shows up. That's okay. Just trying to keep this guy short. If you want to see all these techniques in action, check out my San Joaquin Delta guide, uh, not guide, gameplay during the double experience weekend where I put all these techniques into use and there is a striped bass 15 pounds unfortunately I just took a small fish cabin M for this trip so I can't put it in but that's 150 experience right there so yeah I'll put the link in the description you can check out my fishing action from that video use all these techniques and you'll see me catching, I catch all three of the species I listed in this video. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. See you later.